This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's, uh, let's also mention the 05 Survivor Series was main evented by uh, SmackDown, which was Batista, Bobby Lashley, JBL, Randy Orton, and Rey Mysterio. And they beat a team of Raw, which was Big Show, Carlito, Chris Masters, Kane, and Shawn Michaels. Regular old traditional Survivor Series match. That show did 400,000 buys. This one does 383,000 buys. Only 17,000 down. You know, when it's a, a, a move like that of less than 5%, is it even discussed? I mean, 5% one way or another, is that major? It doesn't feel it to me. No, you always want to do better. I of mean, course. It's, here, here's the thing that, that you run into a trap with success, and I'm sure you've, you've done this, where you you reach your goals so that once you reach your goals, you set new higher goals. Yes, and you set new higher goals and then you fall short of those goals when you sometimes make it almost impossible for you to do, but you have to do that. Yes. You always want to do better. Yes. I don't care what it is. You always want to do better. Otherwise you, you shouldn't have a pulse <laughs> if you don't want to improve every single time. Totally agree. And it's just sometimes it, it's uh, it, it is what it is and, and you can be happy with it. However, there's always that feeling inside. Damn it. Wish we did better. The readers of the wrestling observer that week thought they wished you did better too. 41.8% thought the show was a thumbs down. Meltzer would write with so many pay-per-view events, they now have to do some themed gimmick events instead of presenting marquee cards because of the inherent problems they've backed themselves into. The WWE has three brands with limited headliners. With little upward mobility of wrestlers, that leads to a very limited pay-per-view main event pool and far too many shows. That leads to needing ideas like Elimination Chambers, Survivor Series rules, and Cyber Sunday gimmicks simply because they don't have enough main event, main event matches to run through the shows they have to deliver. Uh, I don't think that's an unfair criticism. I guess you've got to sort of make a decision. You know, if you have one brand and too many top guys, you can't feature them all. But if you have three brands now, maybe you feel like you don't have enough. It's sort of damned if you do damned, if you don't. Right. Well, it's also, you have to look at reality too. And, and remaining in business, you have to be able to deliver different types of events. If every single event is just, well, here's another match, you know, pay-per-view well here's more matches you, you need themes you need to shake it up you need to do different things you need to have that in there because if you don't give variety it's it does become the same old shit uh Meltzer would say usually at survivor series there are subtle backstage angles to tease something that would build for royal rumble and often wrestlemania this year, most booking is being done on a week to week basis. The return of Stephanie McMahon at this point is said to have only slowed up the process with most booking on a week to week basis. Very little is planned ahead to build for. And there are none of those teases. One company source familiar with the goings on said the creative process here is at an all time high in frustration. I can't imagine that the shows, the creative and the people involved in the players won't undergo some major shakeups through mania. I mean. That's part of the deal, right? I mean, frustrations with the creative process, especially when you've got three brands and you've got joint pay-per-views that's always going to exist. That's not exactly new. Did you feel like here in 06 that it was maybe at an all time high as was described here in the observer? Not at all. I think that if anything that the, I think that the addition of ECW probably gave that impression because with very few, how do I say this? Very, yeah, very few supporters that, that really thought that really thought there was anything to a, a, an ECW brand and reviving a dead brand. Um, much like WCW, you know, before that, that it just, you're going down a dead end street. 
Do you think Survivor Series should help build towards Royal Rumble or WrestleMania? Or at this point in 06, was Survivor Series just a November pay per view? I think it was a standalone. I think that because of the just the way that the event is, and, and there there can always be subtle hints to the Royal Rumble and to WrestleMania, you know, specifically WrestleMania, much more than the Royal Rumble. But you can always drop hints and do some different things in, in any pay per view if you want to. But Survivor Series had become kind of that standalone novelty pay per view. Do you think any of, uh, I mean, it's sort of insinuated here that Stephanie McMahon is, uh, slowing things up. Do you think that's a fair assessment? Was she trying to get her feet, feet underneath her? Is this probably sour grapes from whoever's talking to Dave? Uh, or is it just a challenge, man? If you're in that spot, everybody's going to have these sort of conversations about you. Yeah. And, and it was, it was an easy out. It was an easy out because Stephanie was the one that was put in that position and it just returned. So of course, why, why don't you blame her? Um, not fair, not true, but I can see where people would go back and go, ah, well, that must be what it is without ever understanding the process or understanding what, what everything goes through. I get it. It's a wrestling podcast, but he's saving us money on our mortgage. Do you really trust this process? The reviews don't lie. Five-star review after five-star review. We make it fast. We make it easy and it's no cost or obligation. Give us a shot to earn your business. I'm telling you, you'll be glad you did, especially if you like keeping more of your own money. You don't need perfect credit or money out of your pocket. So what are you waiting for? Hurry to savewithconrad.com. I just feel like you're in a unique position to respond to that because I'm sure you have social yeah. media and boy, anytime somebody doesn't like anything, they can't run, they can't help but run to social and say, Oh, Bruce, blah, blah, blah. I, yeah. That's why, you know, and, and you are the one that, okay, I just shut it off yeah. because too much of it is anybody can be on social media. Anybody can uh, write a newsletter and, and sit from their messy office oh, in California. No, I'm saying I'm, anybody can do that, but they haven't actually done anything in the business to speak from experience and have a little empathy for what actually transpires, nor have they ever had any skin in the game to say, okay, well, you're making decisions here. Uh, no one makes decisions to fail. Right. So when you look at the business end of things, it is a business at the end of the day. And you'll always look for scapegoats, but the process was the process. And it was what it was. There's always, I mean, man, the months from October to April are hell. They just are. Always have been, always will be. You're on the road. You're on the road to WrestleMania. And things are going to change nine ways from Sunday. And you're going to uh, build things. And then somebody will get hurt. It, that's the reality of the business. And also too, no matter who's quote unquote running creative, uh, are we pretending Vince McMahon doesn't exist? Right. I mean, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's just amazing to me. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.